morning and welcome to Tuesday's morning prayer. Let's begin with our opening prayer. O most mighty and merciful God, in this time of great sickness, we flee to you for comfort. Deliver us, we ask, from our peril. Give strength and skill to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made use of for their cure. And grant that perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts to that heavenly wisdom which leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our psalm this morning comes from the 62nd Psalm. And we'll be reading verses 1 through 5. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my fortress. My salvation, I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will you attack a man to batter him? Like a leaning wall, like a tottering fence. The only plan to thrust him down from his high position. They take pleasure in falsehood. They bless with their mouths, but inwardly they curse. For God alone, O oh my soul, wait in silence. For my hope is in him. He is my rock and my salvation. My fortress, I shall not be shaken. On God rests my salvation and my glory, my mighty rock. My refuge is God. Trust in him at all times, O oh people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Let's take a moment to pray, pause and pray together for our world, for the leaders of our national, state, and local governments, um, for families, kids in schools. Let's just take a moment to pray. Father, we uh, lift our hearts to you today in this time of great trial that has come upon us. We think first of uh, all the people who are suffering and sick and dying across the face of the world today. We pray that you would use this occasion to draw them to yourself, that they would apply their hearts to know eternal life. We pray that you would bring comfort to them and you would bring healing. Father, we pray for the leaders of all levels of government who are making decisions right now to try and protect and preserve and provide Father, would you give them wisdom from above? We pray, Lord, for the families that are at home right now, that are struggling to make it, that are piecing their lives together in shelter. Lord, I pray that you would grant this as a special grace, a time of special grace for them, that they would know your goodness and kindness in this time. Lord, it is our deep and great prayer that many would come to know the Lord Jesus in this time. Many in our community, and that we would be faithful witnesses and lights that would shine and reflect the glory of God to them. And Father, for us, as we ourselves struggle through this time, would you strengthen our hearts, give us courage, and enable us to trust you in the midst of trial. Watch over our church. Watch over our families and our friends. Protect us, Lord. As the psalm reminds us, be our salvation, our fortress, our mighty rock. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's uh, say out loud the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. May your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and 
forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please leave your comments as prayer, prayer requests as comments below. Uh, let us know how we can be praying. Uh, we want to stay connected to you, praying for you. And so uh, we'd love to hear from you, how things are going. And uh, so please share with us. And we will be sure to be praying for you as you leave your requests today. All right. Thanks. God bless.